Professor Larry Weed from the University of Vermont is a great system thinker and a pioneer of the use of the problem-orientated medical record which he first developed. So I went to a talk by Professor Weed at the IHA conference some years ago and in front of 3,000 people, no fancy overheads or projectors or slides for him, he spoke just with a few notes and a copy of Francis Bacon from whom he quoted. Francis Bacon, himself a great system thinker, wrote about, uh, in his book Novum Organum, he wrote about the idols of the minds, the idol of the minds, the things that can make humans think that they're correct when they're not, and about developing systems to ensure more accurate thinking. 1620. So Professor Weed read us about the idols of the mind and then demonstrated. So he said, imagine a medical consultation. A patient comes to see you all the inputs into the decision-making process. So we have to look at the patient on that day, we know their age, we look at the way they walk, we think about their family life, who cares for them, who they care for, then we think about their family history, their past medical history, their current conditions and problem list, the medications that they may be on, we look at their immunisation status, what they may be allergic to, we think about the symptoms that they present with, the way they describe them. We temper that with an understanding of their health literacy. We have some available, perhaps, some tests that have been performed and other investigations. We can do an examination to uh, determine findings for ourselves and elicit signs as well as the symptoms we've already, we've already established. And given all those hundreds and hundreds of inputs into a consultation, there are then decisions we need to make, the outputs of the consultation. So they can include, do we cut something off? Do we put something in? Do we prescribe a medication? Do we send them to hospital? Do we refer them to um, some other service or skill? Do we give them education processes? Do we intervene with uh, prescribing a new medication? Do we, are we proactive in preventative health? Do we arrange for some screening? Uh, do we give them immunisation? Um, do we send them off straight off to hospital? There are hundreds of possible outputs for any consultation. Now, says Larry Weed, uh, given those hundreds of possible inputs, those hundreds of possible outputs in any consultation, all of that has to be processed just through one head, just through one head. And given all that decision-making, it needs to be done accurately, precisely and correct for every single patient on every single time, and that has to be done 30 times a day. And Larry Weir would say, what sort of system have we developed there? Even in the best of minds, with generalist trained physicians who understand their patients and know them well, to expect that we're going to make the best decisions given all those inputs and possible outputs 30 times a day, exactly correct every time, is an unfair onus on doctors. And we need to give them tools, resources and teams to make it easy for them to provide reliable care, to provide reliable care. We need systems to build systems around our GPs to make our care more reliable. That's an example of thinking systematically.